Well, hello and welcome back to this little series of short videos. Today's short video is giving you five ways to get people onto your mailing list. Now, I talk about a mailing list an awful lot on this channel and everywhere else, really. So if you'd like a bit more in-depth look into mailing list, I'll put some links to all my mailing list related videos below here. You can also check out this one as well. That's gonna give you a bit of an overview and a bit more of a, an idea of where to start. Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Sophie and I help artists to set up and grow a successful, profitable business doing what they love. If that's you, then you're in the right place. This channel shares all things art business related. So make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified every time I post more of these helpful videos. So as we know, a massive part of building an art business is building a list of people who are interested in and then go on to purchase your work or join your workshops and courses, art services, etc. So let's look at just five simple ways that you can start building that list. Well, number one is you want to make sure that you have a crystal clear sign up box on your website. So very often I look at an artist's website and I'm rummaging around and I'm looking on there going, where is the sign up? And it might be at the very bottom in the footer. That's assuming that someone scrolls all the way down your homepage and they see a little apologetic, please join my newsletter. And top tip, I wouldn't say that either. I've got a VIP, Sophie's VIP studio news. Sounds a little bit more exciting than a newsletter. At the end of the day, nobody wants a big long email. They just would like to hear from you on a regular basis. So top tip there, come up with a creative name for yours. But anyway, number one, make sure that you have a prominent clear place on your website near the top or at the top where people can join your list. Number two, spend a little bit of money and boost a post on Instagram. So set up a post as you would normally do and make sure that it's obvious that it, your, the post is all about where they can join your list to hear more from you. Or if you've got a little free things because maybe you teach, if you've got a little freebie, then you can make a little post about that. And if you haven't, you just make a nice creative in the studio looking post with a very clear call to action, join my studio news list and then boost that post. I boost it for, I know, about seven or 10 days. You don't even need to spend very much. You can start with $5 a day and it will start to build and populate that list. Number three, if you do more physical marketing, what about having a postcard created or maybe you have a business card or card or something that you physically hand out, grab a QR code on there um, with a link to where people can sign up. This is really effective and a really easy way of doing things. You hand out the postcard, people can just put their phone over, put the camera on their phone over and it takes them a direct link to where they can join your list. Hallelujah. If only things have been so easy back in the day when I started my business. So fourth way that you can get people onto your mailing list is writing regular blogs. Maybe you do that already. Make sure that in within each blog, you have a sign up box for where they can join your mailing list. And you can also do sort of specific things that are linked to that blog and you can create maybe a little free thing that goes or a discount code or something that's a little bit related to that blog. That's an even better way of doing it. But ideally, every blog you have needs to have your sign up box in there somewhere in the middle or at the bottom. All right, the fifth way that you can get people to join your artist's mailing list, well, I'm doing it, it is of course videos on YouTube. You'll often hear me say, go to the link below this video in order to grab your free dot, dot, dot. All right, what am I doing there? I'm growing my mailing list. You can do the same. So if you teach, run workshops, or you teach in any way, shape or form, then likely you've already got a YouTube channel. So make sure that you are utilizing every single video, that you're utilizing the space below the video, that you talk about getting and joining your community um, within the videos as well. Maybe not every video, but certainly a good number of them. And absolutely down below every single video. You've got a whole space there. You can write all sorts of things and all the resources and links and social media and places for people to join that list below the video. So if you've loved this little video and you're enjoying the little short videos at the moment, and so want to know a little bit more, then of course, below this video is a direct link where you can grab my new free guide, the 10 things you need to be doing to make a living from your art. Guess what I'm doing there? I, I, am I building my mailing list? I'm building my mailing list, all right? So grab that free guide video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.